Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. Today, it's Ron with you here, um, and I'm going to be Sunday, not sure what day, I think the 27th, and I'm going to be heading, uh, taking the semi today, going a little jaunt around Iowa. I'm going to take a load to ADM of corn, sell that, and then I'm going to head to Cedar Rapids and pick up a load of bean meal because uh, we basically, we, we use bean meal, we basically, we sell that to other farmers in the area, just farmers that don't have the means to transport that bean meal via, via bean meal truck and a semi. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to go load that up. It sounds like the brakes are stuck there, so get that rolling. But now we go. As you can see, we got snow everywhere. I think we got about a little over a foot on the ground right now. And we're supposed to get a little more tonight. And then it's supposed to get ridiculously cold here in the next couple days. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So as I said, guys, I'm going to take, take this truck, take the good truck, the 13, the for nice new Freightliner Columbia. I'm going to take that and uh, take that out to Cedar Rapids. Eventually, I'm going to fill it up with corn, take it to ADM, then head out to Cedar Rapids. So, And like I said before, like I said before, guys, the temperature is supposed to get ridiculously and dangerously cold here. Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday is supposed to be a high of minus 16, a high of air temperature, and a low of minus 23, I think. And that's actually going to be a wind chill. It's going to feel like minus 60. So it's going to be dangerously cold, guys. So we're going to try and stay safe and get the cattle as much feed as possible so they can stay warm too. But now these the brakes in these the brakes in this trailer is locked up. So I'm going to try and get that unhooked or get that going. Oh, nice and warm in here. So guys, I can't remember much on these brakes, but I want to say, because these are sucked in, I want to say that they're actually, they're locked in right now. So I want to say it's frozen, but all four of them are. So like I said, I can't remember exactly. So this is the S cam, the, the brake chamber's right here. The S cam's in here. So basically when this brake chamber actuates this right here, it turns, it uh, turns it like this and actuates the S cam, which uh, presses the pads against the drum. Kind of like that, but I cannot remember if right if when they're sucked in that they're, if they're actually actuated. So I'm gonna go uh, press the uh, push it, release air from the brakes, and that way it should activate them, I believe. So I'm gonna go check that. Yeah, those brakes are still in the same spot, so all four brakes are locked in right now. So I gotta get somehow get them fixed. I'm gonna try one theory. Can't remember. I've never had this happen before, but I need to break them loose. I'm gonna try and send warmer air back through them now, see if that matters, but I don't think it will. Then I'm gonna start beating on it with a hammer and see when Pat, see what Pat says when he gets here. Alrighty guys, no luck. So in the back, back, back axle, two of the brake pads are frozen stuck there. Everything else is free, so I'm gonna see if I can grab something to unfreeze them, I guess. If not, we'll have to heat it up, so that's what we're doing now. Quick recap guys, so the brake pads, the back two top pads of the rear axle were frozen. So I basically just took a hammer and tapped on the top of them that freed it up. Then kind of just manually pried open the, the S can to free it up. So got the truck out. Now I'm gonna go take a broom and ladder and sweep off all this uh, crap on the tarp and try to get the tarp opened up. But while that's happening, I'm gonna put you guys back on the charger. Alrighty guys, so got the tarp uncovered. Took about a half hour. A lot of ice and crap on there, but finally got it done. Now I'm trying to clean out the traps. Traps opened up. Traps opened up, now to kind of go in here and clean it out. clean all this crap out like that snow and stuff you guys won't be able to see but I'll show you when I'm done all right guys hope you can see but got everything cleaned up best we can now it's time to fill it up a lot later than I thought oh well which pick up the good one yep I gotta pull that tape out with that one. sounds good 
You're gonna use the truck, Tom. Easily the quickest way to do it. Easily the quickest way to fill up because they use the gravity instead of an auger. Obviously, you can get a lot more flow out of this. Alrighty guys, so like I said, I'm getting loaded up for ADM, so this is going to be a spot load. The uh, places really need corn right now, so basis is actually zero. So basically what basis is, is the uh, essentially the, the money that the, the place that we're going to charges you um, kind of like on top of what the grain prices are. I'll do some more research so I can get a better answer for you guys, but that's just my quick understanding. But anyway, so they're basically, the basis is zero, so I'm we're getting exactly what the price of corn is right now. So it's called spot load, and it's we're gonna get a bucket, uh, $3.80 for this load of grain. So $3.80 a bushel, and I'll have about, probably a thousand bushel on me, maybe a little less, probably a little less. And yeah, so we'll get you, and I'll, I'll show you guys a scale ticket when we're done. But then we're gonna head up to Cedar Rapids and get a little bean meal. It's gonna be fun, guys. All righty, guys, so I'm heading to, heading to Clinton right now. I'll catch you guys up when I'm down there. And, but I gotta get going because we're gonna get there's a winter storm warning in effect tonight again So I'm gonna get going so I don't get run into snow trouble. So see you guys in Clinton Alrighty guys, I'm just pulling into ADM right now It's been a while since I've been here, but Glad I followed the truck in because I almost missed the turn <laughs> kind of, I can, If you guys want next time I come down here I can show you guys how to do like a how we go through our grain processing plate how we go how we sell our grain essentially, but you guys a little just some snapshots of what I can so like I said just pulling in get a dump and then head out to Cedar Rapids look at this dumb little thing the turkey eating the corn a couple turkeys eating the corn and the people dropped <laughs> it's like Jake's to me a lot of turkeys here that's a first pretty neat so. so I'm gonna go get probed gonna get a sample to the ADM and I'm gonna go dump just driving down their lane right now so there's the ticket I got so basically I got what I got to give them as I give them the contract number if there is one which well, it's not because it's a spot load so I just said ADM the grower farmer hauler it's all pad hard tongue and then i gotta give them my truck number which is basically an adm issued id tag which is up on my dash right now but that's all it is now i'm gonna head and go sell this grain go dump it in their pit because i just got probed there not then i need to scale in pull over the dumps dump and then pull out scale out and i'm heading to cedar rapids so guys i already got a decent amount of footage so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up here at ADM, and close this video out, then start another one where I'm gonna be going to Cedar Rapids, getting, getting, uh, going to the Cargill plant. I'm gonna go there empty, and then bring back a little bean meal. So I'll probably make this video. Do you have a copy? I'll make, make this video into two. One second. Oh, it's not me. So anyway, uh, make this video into two is what I'll do. Somebody so, needs to uh, hope you guys enjoy. It. Just getting into the plant here. Alrighty guys, all done. Now I just gotta get my scale out and get my ticket. Alrighty guys, just scaled out. Weighed right in right around 80,000. Scale out right around at 25. So 
I'm going to call this video quits here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. Be sure to smash that post notification bell, and as always, subscribe. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now. It's kind of part two of my trucking day today. I'm on the way out to Cedar Rapids, so heading out to get a little bean meal because we are, uh, we essentially we sell bean meal to a couple uh, hog farms in the area. So occasionally we got to make a trip out to Cargill and Cedar Rapids to get a little bean meal, which is a byproduct of soybeans when they process them. So that's what I'm going to do. But right now I'm uh, just about 15 minutes west of DeWitt, heading to Cedar Rapids, probably there, about 50 minutes out from there. So I'm going to get a load of bean meal and then head back home and call her a night. But I figured I'd do a quick video for you guys on that why we do it so but uh, I'm trying to head out there get out there as quick as possible because there's actually a winter storm warning that starts here in about an hour and a half it takes about an hour and a half to get a one-way trip to get to uh, Sea Rapids so that's I'm hurry to hoping to scurry out there real quick and get back in our in a good amount of time and avoid the snowfall it's supposed to get I think three to four inches so we'll see what happens but Anyway, I think this will be a mainly talking video as I'm driving. I have the GoPro mounted right now, so I should be able to talk to you guys for a little while. But like I said, um, but yeah, Pat is actually also on his way out to the Iowa City area. He's going south of there to Hills he, to uh, drop off the manure tank. You know, the one that got smushed, that imploded. He's going to drop it off at Stutzman, which is a uh, uh, liquid slurry tank dealer. And he's going to drop it off. They're going to ship it out and get it repaired. That's one reason why I wish we had a step deck. But, yeah, so he's on his way out to Cedar Rapids. He's just pulling it out there. Or he's heading out Hills, which is South Iowa City. He's pulling it out there so he can only go 35 mile an hour. I passed him about 10 minutes ago or so. But yeah, so we need, a, we need a good liquid manure tank. We're using the old one right now, but it leaks. It's unreliable. But yeah, so we need to get one of those. So I, yeah, so hopefully we'll get it out, get that thing back in a month and be able to use it again. But I'm listening to the Hawks right now. The Hawks are playing up in Minnesota. They're down by eight, I think, and 12 minutes left in the first half. A lot of game left. So. Anyway, I just passed the sign. 52 minutes left to Cedar Rapids. So catch you guys up in Cedar Rapids. This is the eighth train I've seen go by so far on the... 20 miles I've got 30 miles I've gone fourth coal train every other trains cold and it's like freight or grain or whatever they're long trains too going probably 70 mile an hour 50 mile an hour oh well guys so I just got to Cargill and Cedar Rapids and I have a phone number on that kind of see on that screen right there that tells me to call I keep trying to call him and no one's picking up, but I just went stop the guy who's moving snow here and he says their bean mill plant is down for at least three to four hours, bare minimum. So that's not what I wanted to hear. Because I wanted to go home and make lasagna tonight, but that's not gonna happen. So I don't know what the heck to do. I'm just gonna try and call Pat and I don't wanna head back empty handed. That's just 100 miles and wasted fuel. But like I said, we'll see what happens. But regardless, not a good deal. The guy said that they're basically, they're froze up right now. They're trying to get it started again, but they're completely out and everything's froze up. So I don't know, we'll see, but keep you guys updated, but it's not a good deal right now. I'm just sitting here and wife is not going to be happy. The Hawks are playing terible. I'm trying to think of stuff to do while I'm uh, Sitting waiting. I guess I got a sleeper drop. Score is 8278. Still down four. Still waiting. Well, the truck has joined me in waiting, so at least I'm a little bit more hopeful of uh, being loaded tonight. We'll see. But anyway, so I'll kind of explain a little bit why we're doing this. So, what bean meal is, it's a very, very good uh, feed for hogs. It's a very cheap feed because it's a byproduct of soybeans. Um, it automatically is uh, generated at this plant because uh, how, of how they process soybeans in the, here, so it's just a byproduct. 
and I, I don't know how much we buy it for, but for the ton, but if we buy it for a decent price, come back and sell it and del deliver it and sell it to local farmers around our area. So, and what they'll do is basically I'll just go in there, I, uh, I'm on a scale, I'll tell them how much I want to be loaded for, I'll be loaded to 78,000 pounds, Eight, legal limit is 80,000, and uh, yeah, I'll go in there and they'll load me up, load me up evenly, and basically I just, there's like, I go in there, the operator's cut up on top, I drive in, and uh, there's basically three lights that tell me to stop, go forward, go backward, they'll load me up, it drops down, they'll load me up. And it basically it just fits in a hopper bottom like normal. Uh, bean meal is a lot more abrasive on all the equipment in the hopper bottom as compared to corn and soybeans are. It gets in the bearings and if you don't clean it out very good uh, over time it'll wear them down pretty badly. But uh, like I said it's a good extra way for us to make money and it's a good way to serve our local farmers. So anyway I'm just like I said sitting at the Cargill uh, Cedar Rapids plant and waiting for them to get loaded up. At least I said that they'll, they're getting the, they're getting the bean meal uh, plant unfrozen. So hopefully we'll, hopefully in about under an hour or two, I'll be, I'll be able to get loaded up and head back. If not, I'm going to switch places with Pat. And he's going to be, like I said, he's going to Hills, Iowa, which is about 30 minutes south of here. And he's going to uh, drop that manure wagon off and or the manure tanker off and drive up here and probably take my spot so I can head home and get working on my class. Cause I am a, uh, currently getting my MBA right now so anyway yeah that's all I got for an update for you guys right now uh, this truck is at 40 414,883 miles I didn't get that on my last videos but that's what that's at yeah we'll go from there I'll let you go I'll let you guys know if, when something changes I kind of go show you guys a little bit of that scale ticket. So there's kind of what a. So there's what we what I hauled in. So eighty thousand eight hundred twenty pounds at three forty eight three p.m. Tear weight of two twenty five thousand five hundred sixty pounds with a net weight of five fifty five thousand two hundred sixty pounds, which that's how much uh, grain I had on me on that load. So I got a test weight of 56.5, so they took the, the net weight divided by the test weight, which got the total bushels, which is right there, total bushels of 986.8 bushels, and a moisture of 12.4, which is really dry, way too dry, and a 0 .42, 0 .42, uh a foreign material, which is, it's still within the, the limits what they have, so. Yeah, there's a scale ticket, simple as that. Well guys, on the bright side, it's snowing at least. By bright side, I mean crappy side. I wanted to get out of here before the snow hit. And that obviously didn't happen. It's not coming down hard yet, but it's just starting to come down. Sweet. At least I'm not the only one here waiting. So it's not just me. Waiting game continues. It is six, seven o'clock right now. Been waiting for about two and a half hours, I believe. Right around there, yeah, maybe a little less. Less than that, two hours. Somewhere around there, not sure. Well, one of the, I see one of the cargo workers coming in my mirror, so. Cross a finger, something happens soon. Well guys, good news. So he just said that he's gonna try and start loading me. It's gonna take a long time, he said, because they just got it up and running, I'm assuming. So it's gonna be kind of trickling in as we go. So I'm gonna pull up and we'll get rolling. Try not to slide down this hill. All right, guys, I'm gonna open my tarp. Go from there, but about time.
why frozen tarps suck. I'll throw your whole body into it. Good enough. Getting loaded up now. Weight's gonna start increasing here soon. Yep, so I just went and told them my load number, told them uh, the farmer, the destination, and the prior uh, commodity that was hauled. So, and Pat just pulled up right here, so I'm gonna switch and he's gonna take my, t take my spot. So, I'm gonna let him take the truck home and that way I can head home to my wifey. So, alrighty guys, I'll catch you up in the truck. Alrighty, ready to roll, so I'm gonna head back to Preston, but last look at the truck, which is right there, getting loaded up. So I'm gonna head back to Preston, I'll close you guys out when I get back. Probably gonna be about an hour and a half. Food stop. Alrighty guys, just made it back. I'm gonna put, close down some sheds and head home. The weather's getting pretty bad on us already. The wind is really picking up and we've already got a quarter inch of snow already. So, gotta love winter. I don't know where the light switch is here. Oh, there you are. Sweet. Close this shed up. Oh, good lord. Maybe. Oh. Maybe is right. Set you down. as hard as usual but the shed is locked up should be good all righty sweet put the lights off now let's go put the truck away or park the truck for Pat blast with all this wind Probably 30, probably 30 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour sustained with over 30 mile an hour gusts, rough guess. Whew. It's cold outside, ladies and gentlemen. But time for me to head home before the storm gets real bad. Cause this is barely snowing here. We're out in Cedar Rapids, it was really snowing. So, alrighty. Go ahead and sign off on this video. Pat just gonna come home, park that in the shed, and call her a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And I would really appreciate it. And comment if you have any questions. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hartung Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta ta for now. I tried to think of a funny pun. Something to do with snow and wind, but I couldn't. So. Alrighty, bye.